Namaste students, welcome to our social science class. In today's class, we are going to learn about another great person. He is Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Yes, the person on your screen. Let us learn more about this person. We will read about Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. He fought against discrimination in American society. Discrimination means treating some people differently from others. What is the meaning of the word discrimination? Wrong and unfair treatment of people. African American, a person of African origin, born and raised in America. Step 2 So, this is from our content book, the lesson from our content book. So, uh, you are going to read this lesson after reading. You should underline the sentences where you find the people were discriminated. Okay, the African Americans were discriminated. In what ways you are going to underline? And you will also underline what were the efforts, what was the work of Martin Luther King. Right? So, I'll read the lesson for you. I'll read it very fast. Please try to follow. You read it slowly and underline those. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Born in 1929 in the United States, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was a pastor in a church. During those days, African Americans were discriminated against because of the color of their skin. On 28th August 1963, Dr. King Jr. gave an important speech asking people to come together and fight for the rights of African Americans. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. fought for justice for African Americans. He led peaceful, non-violent protests and marches and made speeches to bring people together. He received the Nobel Peace Prize in 1964. In the year 1968, he was killed just a week before the government passed a law that brought an end to the discrimination against African Americans. So, here is the speech. Let us read. I have a dream. This day will be remembered for our struggle for freedom today. The African Americans living in the United States are not free. They face discrimination every day. They live in poverty. They cannot vote. We cannot rest. As long as these are, there are signs saying for whites only in hotels, restaurants and buses. Now is the time to fight for justice for all God's children. But we must not get violent in our fight. Even though we have difficulties, I still have a dream. I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a country where there will not be judged. They will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream that one day little black boys and black girls will be able to join hands with little white boys and white girls as sisters and brothers. So, after reading this, does it remind you of any uh, person from our country? Yes, the father of our nation, Mahatma Gandhiji. He also struggled to bring freedom for Indians and he also followed the non-violent okay, ahimsa such practices to become successful 
right let's watch this video Step. until 1960s african americans faced discrimination they had separate schools and buses and did not have the right to vote dr martin luther king jr protested against discrimination through the civil rights movement let's african americans were not allowed to vote stay in hotels send their children to schools eat in restaurants and travel in buses that were meant for the white americans did you understand african americans were not allowed to move along with the white americans they did not have the right to vote they couldn't stay in hotels or send their children to schools where this white americans were there so this is a flow chart which uh, is the main concept of the lesson please draw it in your social class work so what does it say discrimination against african americans so this is the situation of the african americans how they lived african americans lived in poverty african americans could not stay in hotels eat at restaurants and travel in buses meant for white americans african americans could not vote right so draw this in your class work why did dr martin luther king junior fight against discrimination let's discrimination divides people by treating some of them differently and unfairly it is unjust to treat some people differently because of their skin color as african americans were being treated Therefore Dr Martin Luther King Jr fought for equal rights of African Americans. Ah! Question Martin Luther King Jr could have used violent methods to fight discrimination but he chose non-violent methods. Why would someone use non-violent methods? Let's Non-violent methods do not harm anybody. They are peaceful form of protest and can be more successful. Uh, All of you open your worksheet. Put today's date, fourteen point four. Doctor Martin Luther King Jr. Question one: Which of these statements show racial racial discrimination? Tick them. Okay, discrimination is the difference that is shown among people, right? a person is not allowed to enter a restaurant because of their skin color okay put a tick to a because they are showing the discrimination here he is not allowed into the restaurant because of his skin color put a tick to a everyone b a person is not allowed allowed to go to school because they have fever so don't touch b1 don't tick it C one. A person is not allowed to stay in a hotel because it is only for white people. Here again, they are showing racial discrimination. So put a tick to A and C. Now we are going to read the D one. A person is not allowed to eat some food because they might get sick after eating. So uh, very surely A and C you tick and move to the second question. Why is Dr. Martin Luther King? junior considered a hero give two reasons see we learned in the previous lessons that hero is a person who contributes to the society who helps the people around him because martin luther king he fought he struggled he led protests to uh, uplift this african americans lives okay he fought for them that's why he is considered as a hero right now third question both mahatma gandhi and dr martin luther king junior used similar methods of protest what methods did they use and why yes this question is really very good question mahatma gandhi and dr martin luther king junior both of them used the non violence okay 
non violence okay ahimsa and they believed that truth tra- wins at the end right so non violence is the method which was used by both mahatma gandhi and martin luther king and they became successful in their struggles right so write that now we are moving to the content book practice questions everyone open your content book put today's dear date right if true or false before the civil rights movement african americans were not allowed to vote that is true b before the civil rights movement african americans were not allowed to stay in the same hotels as white americans that is true second question if you were to fight against one thing in our country what would that be how would you fight against it this is your opinion they are asking for so you should answer you should write your own answer here but still if you are unable to think then here is my answer i would fight against the caste system or i would fight against the corruption okay and i would follow that non violent methods peaceful protests okay that's the answer third question do you think peaceful methods of protest are useful against unfair rules give a reason for your answer yes i believe that peaceful methods of protest are useful and are if used we become more successful because we are when we don't harm anyone we can get things done easily all favors will be on our side right so uh, that's all for now do read the lesson from uh, the content book thank you have a good day bye bye